So, here in 1 Timothy 1.11, it talks about the gospel of the glory of the blessed God with which I have been entrusted. Now, when Timothy read these words, we know what he came to his mind when he read the word makarios, because it was the most common Greek word for happiness. When Paul says the gospel of the glory of the blessed God, when he says makarios, forget blessed, when he says makarios, Timothy thinks it's the gospel of the glory of the happy God. Now again, unfortunately, we've lost this, not uh, partly because of the, the change in meaning of the word blessed as it's commonly used, but Makarios is translating the King James uh, happy about a third of the time, and then blessed the other times, but when it's translated blessed, it also means happy. But it's more of a happiness in the favor of God you know, type of idea, but it's the same word. And then, in 1 Timothy 6, the word makarios is once again used of God. He who is the makarios and only sovereign. He who is the happy and only sovereign. The king of kings and lord of lords. So twice in the book of First Timothy, beginning and the end, and might be significant that Paul just wants to right away and also in conclusion make sure that Timothy is thinking of God accurately that he is the happy God and Timothy's dealing with a lot of problems in the church and he's got stomach problems and uh, he's supposed to take some wine for his stomach uh, and you know not everything is easy for him but this God is the happy God Timothy um, and it, it's most commentaries will mention that Makarios, you know, if they'll appeal sometimes to the dictionaries, uh, Laonida, uh, pertaining to being happy. That's the definition of Makarios. Fortunate or happy, uh, another uh, standard Greek dictionary. Happy or blessed, exegetical dictionary of the New Testament. But understand that blessed in the sense of happiness and not blessed in the sense of holiness. Nobody thinks Macarius means holiness. It doesn't. A.T. Robertson in Word Pictures. The word translated blessed here means happy. He translates himself, 1 Timothy 6.15, the happy and alone potentate. 1 Timothy 6.15, John Phillips in Exploring the Pastoral Epistles. We have a happy God, a happy ruler, altogether happy and altogether powerful. G.W. Knight, commentator, the term makarios itself means happy and therefore designates God as containing all happiness in himself and bestowing it on men. Jameson Fawcett Brown, an old classic commentary. The term blessed, the English, you know, indicates supreme happiness. Now, ironically, even the English term blessed, he might have correctly been saying the English term blessed, accurately translating makarios, means supreme happiness, or maybe he's really meaning the original word here, makarios, means supreme happiness, but that's the meaning, supreme happiness. Spurgeon, who was a Greek scholar, in addition to everything else he was, said the gospel is the gospel of happiness. It is called the glorious gospel of the blessed God. Now listen to this comment as he's preaching on 1 Timothy 1.11. A more correct translation would be the happy God. Well then, adorn the gospel by being happy, by being like God, who is the happy God. So Tozer said, God is happy if nobody else is. Spurgeon said, now it is not likely that the God who made a happy world would send a miserable salvation. He who is a happy creator will be a happy redeemer.